So uh, as you can see on the right, this is the DaVinci toolbar that is uh, embedded into the Dynamics web page and the Amazon Connect UI is also embedded within the DaVinci toolbar. So it is a frame within a frame, if you will. So as you can see, um, this is a very clean single pane view um, with no obstruction to the agent. So um, I'm just gonna go over uh, the quick functionalities of the toolbar from top to bottom, and then uh, place a live call. So at the top is the global presence control. Um, this is where it tracks the agent um, in their state across multiple channels. But for this demo's purposes, we only have a single channel voice for now. So um, it's actually mapped to the status in Amazon Connect. So if I change my status to not ready, break in global presence, as you can see in Amazon Connect, um, the status has changed here. And I can do this uh, vice versa as well. So in Amazon Connect, I can set myself back to available. And as you can see, the uh, global presence status has changed back to ready. So again, um, this is the Amazon Connect UI that is um, embedded within the toolbar. So this is all coming from uh, Amazon. You have a dial pad you can quickly pop open and close and uh, quick connects buttons in case you want to uh, quickly transfer uh, internally. And um, at the bottom, we have uh, more features such as um, recent call activities and uh, quick create buttons for cases, account contacts, etc. So what I'm going to do now is place a call to Amazon Connect. Uh, this is a live call. So uh, right now I'm just going through the IVR system, but in a moment you will see an incoming call come through. And as you can see, uh, this is the Annie. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and accept the call. Basic Q. And as you can see, the uh, screen has popped to a sample account that I have mapped to the incoming Annie. And um, the call controls have now uh, popped up. Once a call is connected, you have your typical call controls such as hold, mute, you can open the dial pad again or do a transfer. Um, again, this is all um, coming from Amazon's UI. And um, as you can see, some more information is appearing here in the uh, DaVinci toolbar. Okay, so now I'm going to place a live inbound call. So um, this is live, so it is going to go through an IVR system. And as you can see, um, we screen pop to a default Basic account Q. that is mapped to the number or the any. Um, and uh, in the Amazon Connect UI, you can see the um, interface changed. The call controls have now popped up. So you have all your typical controls. You have your hold, your mute. You can open up the dial pad again here, or you can uh, hit the transfer button. And um, if you have a internal contact map, you can quickly transfer internally. So um, as you can see here, we uh, added some extra call activity information on the uh, DaVinci end of the toolbar. Um, you can see that the call from is filled in with the matching account with the phone number. Um, you can go and navigate to um, a case for this example. Um, 
and um, say they are um, calling about a damaged product and they have a case open um, in the call activity information, you can um, switch the regarding to product damage and uh, keep the call from to the uh, account entity. Um, there's also uh, a note, a place to uh, type in notes here. Um, you can manually type them in. Um, there's also some uh, quick create notes here that are uh, completely configurable on the DaVinci side. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save this call activity information and I am going to uh, hang up the call. And um, as you can see, I'm going to bring up the most recent activity or call. And uh, all the information I took is now saved into that call activity. We have uh, the from regarding the count, um, and we have the uh, case that it was regarding, as well as the uh, notes that I left in. And if you want to quickly call the customer back, you can navigate to the account page and click to dial is uh, activated. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click the button. And as you can see, it is now placing an outbound call. So uh, that is all I have to uh, demonstrate for you today. Um, I hope 